it's very strange because it's also sort of about the end of but it's also about like how the that Trump was an outsider like everyone got mad in the books because he became president but he was never a politician but he fixed everything mm-hmm. by fixing the economy and it doesn't really make any sense yeah but it's also like it's just all like very familiar yeah and and but it, they are probably not paying attention to like in the end like this person becomes the last president of the United States and the entire thing collapses yes cool but it, no that he fixes everything and we but, don't need another president. Oh. <laughs> he's fixing everything so and, we what, and now he's permanent. So what is what is replaced? Who runs the country afterwards? Honestly, I think it's just fucking Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Welcome to Side Stories. Oh, that's how we started? That, uh, maybe it's how we start. Do you uh, want to start with like that? I've, you know, it's interesting. It's, no one heard my run up about this series <laughs> of coincidences, coincidences about an ancient book written about a character named Baron Trump uh-huh. go when, who happened to get Nikola Tesla's Time machine. It's a long story. <laughs> We're gonna have to break this down. John yeah. Trump. He got a. It's a weird connection to the the, yeah. the Trump family to Nikola Tesla's fucking um, research legacy mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it's definitely real. Any mentions of the book about this Baron Trump being a six foot seven goon? I, unless uh, I didn't see the cover. <laughs> I didn't see the cover. Uh, no, we got. He, I, who knows? Because I yeah. mean, you see him. You yeah. see Baron Trump? He's massive. He's big. He's huge. He's fucking, oh, did you see him? Like, he has to, like, carry his dad now. And shit. <laughs> he's a big guy. He's going to kill a nurse. I'm so afraid of what this guy's going to do. God knows. He's gonna, he, especially if he's not being watched. Yeah, exactly. He needs to be watched 24-7. I guess that's what Melania's doing. I'm Marcus Parks and Henry Zabrowski coming out with a hot future predictions. You never know. About who Baron Trump is going to murder. Well, it does remind me of the Uber driver that did tell me that Donald Trump had access to, uh, he found that there was time traveling goggles this is completely real this was told to me in an uber which i was like oh great you're driving yeah and if he said in the basement of the white house there was a secret technology that donald trump defied the secret industri- industry against right he went against the intelligence committees mm-hmm. and he said no 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 i gotta go look at this and it was time traveling goggles mm-hmm. so he could see into the future about how great a president he was gonna be <laughs> that great while he was president. And meanwhile, like, you should have been engaged in the president. <laughs> president Trump. We have a lot of information that came in, a lot of pushbacks, uh, but also a lot of re- reconfirmations. It's very interesting. And I'll take the pushbacks. Like, do we want to start with the pushbacks? Well, because I kind of feel like I need to address these people because I feel like I've offended many, many structural engineers you and did. geologists. Marcus uh, obviously fell in love. I did not fall in fell love. Fell in love. I may. I might have become enamored with the concept of digging in your own yard, digging I, in your own property. I became enamored with the concept. I know you love this idea, the tunnel lady. Yeah. Her account was called um, the, the TikTok tunneling lady, uh, known as engineer.everything on TikTok, has garnered a lot of attention and a lot of appreciation because people love her can-do attitude. She wears pearls. She, you know, she wears like 1950s dresses. She looks immaculate and she's digging this giant tunnel underneath her home. And um, they, she's being stopped by the state because... Um, uh, there is uh, no regulations happening while she's building a tunnel underneath a very populous city. And it seems like that this was stopped for very good reasons. Very much so. Because <laughs> it's a t- topic known as hobby tunneling. Yeah. Which I do. We, we talked about this last episode about freedoms. Yeah. We love freedoms. We want you to be able to express yourself. I, too, wish I I want to be able to tunnel anywhere I want to go. I All do, right? too. I feel that the earth, we you know, once again, the government's proving Pocahontas was wrong. Because, but I do feel because the United States government technically owns the land of the core that is underneath your home. They own the mantle. Do you know that? I know that mineral. They got that. They don't have. It maybe in cities, but way out where. But in, people do sometimes buy the rights to yeah. underneath your house. Yeah, it's called mineral rights. Yes, and then but then they own it down to the lava. Mm-hmm. Right? Because then it depends on how deep you go. Ain't that weird. It's really weird. So I feel like you should be able to tunnel through it. But apparently what it really does is destabilizes an entire city neighborhood. (laughs) Because uh, we got some pushback because obviously Marcus fell in love with the lady. I didn't fall in love with the lady. I became enamored with the concept of tunnel digging. I heard it in your voice. You didn't hear anything. You heard me be very excited about digging, which we all know is one of my favorite things in the world. But ever since we talked about Marcus's erotic (laughs) obsession with this woman my enamoring my enamor with 
The concept. I understand. understand. My wife is going to <laughs> fucking rip your throat out. I, I am sorry, Carolina. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's she listens like to the show every week. Well, she better she's, keep she's, tabs on you. She's listening. She's working out right now and she, just becoming mad. She needs to report the tunneling lady <laughs> and get her stuff taken down. No, she. Uh, it's. It's. I understand. Okay, we we all want to dig tunnels, but I got a lot of people saying. Number one, um, people are obviously straight up, which is kind of insulting. One email. Well, I'm not shocked. The tunnel girl has charmed Marcus. I do feel like I should probably call out how absolutely wrong you guys are about her project. And sure. they go on to talk about they working in construction and about how like all the various things she completely fucked up because she was in the middle of a city. Um, she lives in a quarter acre, which means a cave in would reliably harm her neighbors. Her neighbors are also people that were hesitant because some of them were immigrants. Sure. Were hesitant to come to the government and talk about what the hell was going on next door. All right. She didn't do any soil analysis, which is interesting. She doesn't know how structurally sound her tunnel actually is. She has actively dumped the sludge from wet drilling back into the water table, which is at minimum an EPA violation. That's oh, the, a bad vid- idea. the villains from Ghostbusters? <laughs> That's a bad idea. Now, I mean, I would imagine that the soil, if she's working in very, like, clay-rich soil, then that's going to be a good thing to tunnel because it's much structurally stronger soil no idea. than, say, like, a, a sandy soil. Why is that, though? Why would that be? Because it's, it's, clay, it's, though, it's denser. I don't know. Yeah, I do. But this is why we can't tunnel. <laughs> this is why we need to, you need to have soil analysis and people go, but yeah. they're also saying that the structures were completely fucked up. But also with this story, we got many stories of people tunneling. Hobby tunneling is big. And, and people that have lived their whole lives, like this one story about the 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 moleman of, uh, it's in Hackney, the moleman of Hackney in London. It was mm-hmm. by the name of William Little. Um, he dug a series of interconnected cunt tunnels underneath his London home. And a lot of people got mad at that because it was London. It was the center <laughs> of a giant city. And he just got it in his head that he wanted to start digging i got to start digging right he he dug out this series of tunnels i think they said it was 65 different tunnels that led from his house out into the rest of the city yeah as um, deep as 26 feet i mean which is crazy yeah it's great and it does again it's fun it sounds like the fucking burbs but they said that the the, the neighbors complained that the ground would shake mm-hmm. um because again He's fracking his own house. <laughs> we did this last time. He's destroying the structural integrity of the the earth itself mm-hmm. underneath the home. And then they said he hit out, hit a power line, <laughs> and he took out an entire the entire neighborhood's power, <laughs> which is also hilarious. And the guy does look like a mole man. He absolutely looks like a mole man. He inherited this house in like 2006, I think. Well, no, 2006 he was evicted. Is when they stopped him. He was evicted land. in 2006, but he spent many many years. He spent 40 years. Actually, he uh, he inherited this thing in the uh, in the sixties. That's a lot of tunneling from nineteen sixty six. Like, can you imagine that? You're in London, nineteen sixty six. Oh yeah, one of the yeah, baby, cra- yeah. Who's the, oh, you got in the mold on that? Oh, Twiggy. Yeah. Twiggy was there. She yeah. would have slid right through those tunnels. One of the hippest, coolest times in the twentieth century. Oh yeah, uh, and places, and you're. Digging a tunnel. You just you're don't tar- care. You're tunnel man. You could have been down in Soho. You're going you underneath. C- you could have met the entire collection of the Sex Pistols and their accoutrement. That was 10 years later. Just fucking say it. <laughs> you could have met them when they were children. And you could have been like, Sid, you need to be responsible. Yeah. Uh, they said you need maybe go to school there, Sid. What's his real name? Uh, his real name is... It's like Esther, right? Or like Re- Reginald's. Oh, no. It's a Sidney's the name of his uh, hamster. His real name is... Uh, don't tell me. It is Gordon? John Ritchie. Oh, all right. That sounds good. I think British. it's John Ritchie. Yeah, good. Well, good. Uh, but they uh, they got rid of him. And now some artists, some yeah. big fancy pants. John Simon Ritchie. John Simon Ritchie. Uh, well, he, that's what William Little could have been doing, but he didn't. Yeah. He dug underneath the ground because he was unfuckable. <laughs> and he had these, he needed a better shirt. I was looking at this. He really didn't different, need different clothes. They did end up putting him in jail because they fined him hundreds of thousands of pounds that he could not pay. Yeah. Uh, and then apparently, though, they actually, for a while, they, they, he was trying to, he tried to break back into the house and they couldn't. The government took it. But actually, I was, I'm incorrect. He was not in jail. They just put him in an apartment and paid for it. 
That's incredible. They have different ways of doing things out there. It's nice because he obviously was going to, wherever he's going, he's tunneling. <laughs> right? So you got to put him in a place where he, he can't, can't put get him to in the basement. You can't put him in jail. No. He's just going to tunnel out. Tunnel out and everyone's <laughs> yeah. going to follow right behind him. <laughs> so you have to make sure where he is. It's extremely difficult for him to tunnel. <laughs> Technically, he should just not be allowed to have a, so- a shovel yeah. or pickaxe ever again. Yeah, of and, course. And yeah. I think, well, that could have been worse than death for him. And now it's been, and th- I actually found something that was, it was it's an interesting little phenomenon uh, in England that I didn't know about. It's called air hunting. Uh, H-E-I-R. Like oh, air, 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 air. Air hunting. Air hunting. That's what the Nazis did. <laughs> <And> then, then <laughs> no, that's airloom hunting. Ah, yeah, yeah. 